Welcome to the channel. This is a Chippy Chat with Davey Burrow, Robin Clevett, and Ed. Yep, and we have a superstar guest with us today. He's a superstar in my um, heart, anyway, that's and for sure. Me too, definitely. Yeah, so David Birrell is a carpenter from Edinburgh, so he's yeah, right. many, many miles away from us. And he has an amazing backstory, one of pain, suffering, and commitment. And Davey first uh, spoke to me on the radio, funnily enough, and it was a show that I did on Fix Radio, and I've, I've never done anything like it in my life. Um, anyway, We'll come on to that a bit later on. So this is Chippy Chat, you all know Ed, and Davey is our guest, and it's, as I say, it's an honor to have him. So we've been working together today, have you had a good time? Yeah, a brilliant time, yeah. It's, yeah. The weather down here is uh, 10 degrees different from up Scotland. So, <laughs> Tropical, yeah, it's yeah. been I feel like I'm in a different country. So today, I've been working in Spain, they've been working in the, the outskirts of London. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's been an amazing experience to work with, obviously, not just a guy on YouTube, but an idol of mine and probably oh. many others. So. And it's good to work alongside Ed as well. So we're all here inspired by each other, I think. Oh, uh, definitely. There's the, yeah. Well, I'm truly inspired by your story and everything that you've. Like, it just it, it, actually the podcast, the the radio that Rob, the radio show Rob was referring to, is still a podcast that you can actually get on the Fixed Radio website. So you should definitely listen to it. Um, I know it had me in tears, and, and it was the most inspirational thing that ever. I've ever heard really to do with the trade and etc. So it's a really good story and Davy's attitude to life and everything is just just incredible. So you're all wondering now, well, what's what's Davy's story? So some of you will be familiar with Davy if you're on Instagram. Davy's got a wonderful page now. Davy, give him us give us a little brief of what of your story. Well, uh, you probably all can't see from the table, but I'm a double amputee, at seven soldier. I got injured in Afghanistan 2010. Uh, my inhibitor stood on a, uh, an improvised explosive device, an IED, uh, which then took his life, but I had lost my legs. But uh, life doesn't stop there. The world doesn't stop turning because my legs are missing. So life has to keep on going and you just need to keep on for, uh, pushing forward for, for your goals and uh, just keep on inspiring others and let others know that challenges are only set by yourself and you're just going to keep on heading for your target. So. Unless we knew that you didn't have legs, if you were wearing trousers today and yeah. we didn't know you were double MT, there's no way in hell you could even tell the difference between anything. Like, Davey is unstoppable. Yeah. Davey will do touch anything, it's like he'll lift anything, yeah. he's up and down yeah. stairs and hover. Yeah. Like, it's fucking. It's, it's yeah. crazy. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what I swore. I could beat that it's, one out. Yeah. yeah. We're it's crazy. The odd, the odd swear word yeah. on YouTube. No, but Especially that's just. After the first I just want to. Well, we've had a beer, that's why we're getting a bit fruity. Yeah, but yeah, I just wanted to put there. across I'm how how crazy it, it like inspirational is to me at least just seeing it all it's just brilliant and especially actually with us working it's great it's really good laugh yeah so um so let's just fill you in what's been happening recently obviously you know we've been uh, we've finished on the loft conversion build so mm. we're doing some we've got some final footage coming of bits and pieces that we've been doing there we're also nearly wrapped up at my garden room which Getting has so been close. so yeah, it's close. been the longest garden room project <laughs> of all time so this garden awesome. room project yeah. started before the lockdown then during lockdown garden rooms became fashionable and now they're sort of moving from fashionable to normal now mm. i would say as people are going back to the office yeah, yeah. and going back to work in fact you're doing a garden room yeah i'm doing a garden room up in scotland it's for a, a little old lady and her man uh, so she could use it her man could use it as a chilling out area and she could use it as a sewing room so uh, it's it's something that a lot of people are using to be it's like a home from away from home so mm. it's a room it's not in your house they, yeah. they almost dropped out of fashion garden rooms and then they kind of like after lockdown they kind of die down a bit and now they're just coming up a bit I feel yeah, like they're kind yeah. of ramping back up like we've got a potential one to do as well yeah so really interesting keep cropping one. up yeah. yeah we've got one which is on the side of a, a garden which is nice and level then it falls away at 45 degrees with amazing views and the chap produces music and he wants yeah. it to be his recording studio yeah. and when I went around to see it I was like wow this is a really interesting job you know when you sometimes look at a job and get excited about yeah, something yeah. you can foresee it yeah, yeah. 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 yeah and so hopefully fingers crossed they buy the house it all goes through and then yeah. they call me back and say <laughs> we may be interested because you know what it's like when you're looking at work or looking for work yeah, you yeah. think you've got it in the bag but you just haven't got it until you've got it yeah, you? yeah, yeah, contract signed yeah exactly yeah. Exactly. exactly, and it's so it's quite hard to find work. I mean, I think that the economy is is doing all kinds of things at the moment. Yeah. So it's clear to see if you've got a mortgage and mm -hmm. it's coming off a fixed rate, for example, it is not funny. Okay, and I and I do appreciate that there's a cost of living crisis. So you may see all these crazy stuff that we're doing for all these people, but every single person is affected 
by the cost of living crisis. Oh, definitely. definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Everything's up by at least 60, 70 percent for what it was before COVID, yeah. and it doesn't seem to be dropping at all. It's the only reason it doesn't be dropping is because we're all paying for it just now. Yeah. So if we're paying for it, why should we drop it? Mm. Uh, it's yeah. the same as taxes. All tax things have changed. Like 50k has gone up, and all that sort of stuff. Everything's changing, and it makes it harder for us as uh, contractors or joiners or chippies or mm. uh, anybody in the industry you know how to price jobs and how to move things forward mm. but that that that's just something that us being carpenters have to think about and have to move just move forward from it it's just like anything adapt and overcome you just have to move forward from it you know but uh, these sort of things is just something that we all have to deal with on mm. the spot mm. you know and uh, I don't think a lot of us get like, put on the spot, do we? So, no, I, I, who likes it? I mean, it is hard. You know? We're all self-employed. That's the way the world works in our industry, yeah. isn't it? You know, very there's very few employed tradespeople jobs, isn't there? Yeah, yeah. It's just the way the industry set up. And I partly think that is because in most employment, for example, you get your holiday pay, your sick pay. But if you factored all that into our labour rates, yeah. mm. no one would be able to afford to employ, you know, that's, that's basically how it is. So Ed, what is it that you've enjoyed doing the last three or four weeks most? The last three or four weeks? What have you been up to the last three or four weeks? Um, cast my mind back, we've done some... Second fixing? And second fixing, yeah, we've done, um, it was really nice to finish the, the loft conversion and get yeah. it to a stage where we hand it over to the painters and it's been sprayed and it's really nice. We finished a bit of cladding on the dormers, mm. just ticking boxes, you know, really just stepping back and going, now we can see all the finished work that we foresaw before. Um, yeah, and we're getting to an interesting stage now and it's, it's yeah, good. Definitely, yeah, definitely, and, yeah. And what about yourself? Are you, are you enjoying that garden room? I'm enjoying the garden room, yeah, and the heat. Uh, you smashed it out. You said you'd been up there a week, eh? I've been on it a week, yeah. yeah so I had the... I had done a concrete pad, which was done probably three weeks ago. I had to go away and do another job and then come back to it. There was a bit of landscaping to be done, so groundworks and mm. that had to be pulled down to level. And then I uh, started doing a bit of landscaping and then materials got delivered for the garden room and then just built the kit for it. The kit standing, uh, ordered the doors and windows, all insulated, plasterboarded now, all vapour barriered, uh, rubbers on the roof, waiting for the skylight to be delivered. So things are moving forward pretty quickly. Nice. But uh, we all we all find it hard when things are, don't meet a deadline, you know. But we, yeah. we just have to adapt. Mm. Yeah, we we said to you, what's your favourite kind of carpentry? If someone said to you, you can pick your favourite kind of carpentry and joinery, what would it be? It'd probably be a full renovation from ripping out to mm. fill the installation. Yeah, yeah. The so, whole thing. Yeah, yeah. The full the full full works. What about you, Ed? Well, I have just forgot we did that beautiful oak gazebo. Which I've got to pull my finger out because I've got to edit a video for that, and yeah. it's going to be that's going to be interesting. It's be half on Rob's channel, half on my channel. Yeah. Um, but that for me, that just doing that was so nice. Like the weather was amazing, and we're doing this beautiful oak pavilion, the gin pavilion. We yeah, it, gin probably. pavilion. Yeah. But yeah, all out of green oak, uh, the frame and the ring beam, and then a beautiful roof with a nice feature. We called it kingpin, didn't we? Really? Yeah. So all the it was a equal hip roof, so all the hips met into a kingpin. And it's on Rob's Instagram, but it's um it's beautiful, and I really really enjoyed doing that that kind of big work with really nice timber. Yeah, and we've been um, trialing out some new uh, battery tools there. These are Hilti battery mm. tools, and they're on the what they call the Neuron platform. It's a 22 volt platform, and I mean these tools are bomb proof. I'm telling you. Mm. So Hilti has always been historically expensive, but it's the same as a lot of things in life. These are genuinely expensive tools which are worth the money. There's no doubt about it, I'm telling you. And I've got some more footage coming up soon of these particular tools because take their portable uh, circular saw, for example, stick a battery in mm. it. That's the only one that I've, uh, only called a saw I've known to eat through green oak. Like it literally didn't skip, it didn't even yeah. blink an eye at it. It was and, un unbelievable. And I know there's a lot to say about a blade, okay? So this was the blade supplied with the saw. With the saw yeah. um, and we were just using like the equivalent five amp hour batteries. Yeah. And I'm telling you, it just literally ate through this timber. Yeah. The, the the power that you get from these tools is um, is unbelievable. So look out for the, some of that footage. And going back to what Ed was saying about the footage of this um, oak gazebo, which I'll put a picture over now so you can see that uh, the building, what we're talking about. So Ed's obviously been doing quite a lot of the work there, kind of pushing more and more, delegating more and more to Ed. So he's, he's literally jointing staff setting stuff out you mm. set the whole thing out under my instruction yeah you did all of the main jointing on the half laps that form all the main ring beam at the top if you like yeah and ed was capturing footage so the idea is that we'll produce vid a video or videos and we'll split it in half the first bit will probably go on my channel 
and the next one will go on Ed's channel. The idea of this is you'll go to Ed's channel. If you like what you see, you can potentially subscribe to Ed because he's not going to be with me forever. He's going to want to sort of step on his own two feet and build his own career and build his own, platform, you know, yeah. platform. Yeah, yeah. And that's a way of Ed's, you know, he needs to get to say a thousand subscribers mm -hmm. and they say 4,000 hours of watch time. And that's when you can start potentially making a little bit of money out of stuff that you film. Okay, so that's how YouTube works. If you're unfamiliar with it, to make money on YouTube, you need to have a thousand subscribers and four thousand hours of watch time. Yeah, it's a yeah. Long. yeah and it, it is. Long, it, long. It's so scary it's to get going. But once you get going, and then if you're lucky, they'll give you five pounds for every one thousand views. Okay, so mm. it's not like you're going to make loads of money, but it's just consistency. Oh, yeah, definitely. But um, as I say, going back to YouTube, if people say to me, "Why do you do it?" Yeah. I do it because I want to share my knowledge. 52, and you know I've probably got 10 good years left, hopefully in in me work-wise. You know I'm mm. still mad. I'm still on the roof. Oh yeah, running there's around. no stopping you. It's, it's like yeah, daddy, there's no stopping you. Yeah, no, yeah. <laughs> but I think the thing is, you've just got to have a focus on a, a, an exit strategy. Yeah, yeah, you? Exactly. you know, it's a posh word used in business. Mm. That exit mm. strategy. So um, yeah. So and same for Red and even David. You've got YouTube presence. Yeah, yeah. I've got YouTube. But I've not got much. Uh, much appearance on YouTube. I don't post much on YouTube, which I'm starting to. I'm starting to sort of breach into YouTube itself. Most of the things that I post is all on Instagram, and which then I'll reach on itself, uh, on Facebook itself. But uh, YouTube is something I am breaching into through the inspiration of Rob. I'm going uh -huh. into uh, YouTube itself. So uh, you just uh, watch out, watch your space, and, and look out for my channel. You'll see me uh, at least some point uh, when Rob posts this video. Yeah, but in the meantime, in the description of this video, I'll put um, Instagram links to Davey, obviously back to Ed and, and, and myself, if you're not mm. following me on Instagram. Um, funny thing is, it's really crazy. So I went to cut rights yesterday. I had to drop a load of ply off and Tom kindly cut it all down for us. So we've got to cut loads and loads of 50 mil strips. Now I can obviously do that. We can obviously do yeah. that on the rip yeah, saw yeah. or the track saw. But for speed, because we had so many to do, almost like 200 or so, um, Tom was kind enough for me to drop it up to him and he put it through the saw, sandy the edges, so it's really nicely done. And while I was there yesterday picking the stuff up, I saw a really nice van. It was a Transit and it was gunmetal grey. Oh, Transit. It was a nice van, transit. brand new, shiny, <laughs> and, and it just looked the part. It was chippy, it looked mm. the part. Lovely you know, logo, like yours, yeah, yeah. Davey. Lovely logo. And um, just out of interest, I just, because he had an Instagram sign, yeah. I looked on Instagram, and um, as it, as I put, he follows me. I thought, oh, so I follow him back because I yeah, now yeah. know him. I've seen him, you know. Yeah, yeah. And I hadn't. Anyway, I followed him back, and then I took. We fought, we we drove out of the place together, and I took a picture of the traffic lights on my phone and sent it to him <laughs> on Instagram, saying, oh, you know, uh, nice to meet. I've just followed you back, <laughs> and he sent me a, a message back saying, I thought it was you, blah 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 blah, but I, you know, it was hot. Nice. Yeah, and, yeah. Uh, yeah, but that, isn't it crazy how the world is getting tighter and tighter and yeah, tighter? Yeah. And I think it's really good for our community of tradespeople, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. That's how we Absolutely. met. Yeah, exactly. That's how we met. I was watching some of your stuff on YouTube, and then I uh, went from YouTube to sending Rob a message, and then it will come from uh, basically steps from there. And now we've been working a day together, you know, which will hopefully lead into maybe another couple of days working together in the future so well i think i'll come and do a day's work with you in yeah we've got uh, in edinburgh you. definitely i i um <clears throat> you've never been to scotland have you i've so never been to scotland first. i've never set foot in scotland yeah never sure. becky's been there she's mm. been to edinburgh for a day edinburgh's she, incredible she thought it's, it's absolutely beautiful yeah it's so i'm looking forward to it's uh, a bonny bonny it's country it's a wee yeah. bonny country and right, i actually yeah. understand everything you say even though when you waffle on i'm like <laughs> waffle <laughs> <laughs> no but it's like it's an amazing accent. I love the accent. I bet you when you go to America and places like that, people really... It's like, when I go to America and I chat to them, they look at me like I'm an alien. Because they're like, what's he saying? And it's like I need to produce some subtitles <laughs> as I'm chatting, just so yeah, they yeah, can yeah. read it. But because I do a lot of motivational speaking, as I said, I'm a double amputee, I do a lot of motivational speaking. And during the training I had for motivational speaking, I had to uh, sort of slow things down and, and set it over in a, in a way that others will understand from different different states of the world. So mm. uh, it's all about learning and re-educating. So I come down here just to speak a bit slower for Rob, just to help him out. Because <laughs> he says he needs a hearing aid. Well, there you go. Or um, subtitles. 
So um, um, we're, we're probably around about the eight or nine or ten minute mark Well, now. I think we're way past that. Way past I that. I just wanted to chuck one thing. Go whilst on we're then. on the topic of army, um, a member of my family is rowing the Pacific Ocean. Wow. They are going from California to Hawaii, and it's 45 days of continuous rowing. There's four men on a boat, four soldiers on a boat. Amazing. And they're raising money for three different charities that they've all chose. Um, we're going to link the GoFundMe on there. Yeah. So if you are interested, please go have a look. And they've got an Instagram as well. If you just go and have a look at or follow, it'd mean a lot. And these guys, they're, they're doing something incredible for charity. Oh, 45 definitely. days away from family, rowing continuously every day. The boat is tiny. They're all sleeping on it. It's, it's unbelievable. I can't actually believe he's quite doing okay, it. Okay, so you'll give me a link. Yeah, we'll chuck a link in the description here. Yeah. But yeah, if you could, I'd really appreciate and you just taking a look. if you could send me a picture and, of any sort, I'll try and flash that yeah, up on yeah, the screen Yeah, the, the right boys, now. the team Team's called mm. Pacific One, and uh, yeah, they're, they're rowing the Pacific Ocean, which is pretty crazy. Which is pretty amazing. And the very last thing I'm going to say is, if you saw any of the stuff about the work experience lads that I had, I had two work experience boys. They were amazing. Uh, we spent the whole week together. They came. They lasted did, a week, didn't they? They lasted a week, <laughs> and they, they were brilliant. They were very educated. They were very um, uh, enthusiastic. We did a bit of carpentry work, some roof work. Some and technical uh, work. I also put them behind the computer doing some stuff for me, so I thought, these guys are gonna know how it yeah, works, yeah? Of course, yeah, And yeah. they designed me some bits and pieces for my Amazon shop. Some, some you know, people some ask apps. me every now and then, where can I buy one of the hoodies? And so they designed some of these hoodies up for me. This is on Amazon now, but you don't have to buy one with my name on because they cleverly came up with two letter phrases, so R and C. So the first one that they put up is reliable carpenter. And I know there's a lot of reliable carpenters out there. <laughs> you so, can prove it now. <laughs> yeah, that's the first one. And there's, there's some more to follow in the future. And thank you to everyone so far who's kindly bought them. I make about a fiver on each one or each piece. And that money, as I say, goes into the fact that I don't have memberships on the channel and I can just carry on. Well, it means we can we can film, doesn't it? Yeah, basically? because I'm <laughs> telling you, it takes time to stop oh, and massively. film. Oh, massively. Even course, today. Yeah. Yeah. You've saying, experienced that, yeah. It's your yeah, first yeah. time in that kind of yeah, environment. Yeah, yeah. so it's, it's a long process, you know, you've got a lot of work to do, but and including it to give you guys some knowledge and how to do the stuff as well. You've got to think about the time that it takes to do that footage, so then yeah. people yourself that's watching the channel then have that knowledge and how to do it yourself, so you're not having to spend that much more money than getting someone with that knowledge to come and do the work. So it's definitely worth spending the money on the merchant, the merchandise itself, and that extra five are going elsewhere rather than spending yeah. so much Thanks, money mate. a day. So that's, he's that's signing him up. Yeah, you're, you're on the team. He's, yeah. he's, he's on the team. Anyway, let's finish this yeah, yeah. chat with cheers, and we're going to tuck into another beer maybe. Yeah. David, Cheers. thank you for coming. Thank you so and, um, much. No, yeah. Thanks yeah. for having me. This guy's a legend. Follow him on Instagram and Ed, of course, and I'll see you all soon. Cheers. Cheers. Bye.